Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session devotionals for this morning. Topic for this morning: My showers of grace season is here. Topic one more time: My showers of grace season is here. Host my humble self, Luca Kefas. Text is taken from the book of Second Kings, chapter three, from verse seventeen to twenty. But let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, come say thank you for an opportunity to see another dawn of a new day this morning. We've come to hear from you. Father, we ask speak to us and grant us understanding. You said in Psalm chapter 65, verse 4, Blessed is the man who thou choosest and causes to approach unto thee, that will dwell in your court, and that you show us the goodness of your house. This morning, O God, open our eyes to the understanding of your word and grant us grace to become doers of your word and not hear us only. For in Jesus' name we pray. Topic one more time. My showers of great season is here. Host Muhammad Sab Luka Kefas, text taken from the book of Second Kings chapter three, from verse seventeen to twenty. I read from verse seventeen. For thus says the Lord, Ye shall not see wind, neither shall ye see the rain, yet the valley shall be filled with water, that ye may drink both ye, your cattle, and your beast. Verse eighteen. And this is but the light thing in the sight of the Lord. He will deliver the Moabite also into your hand. Verse 20. And it came to pass in the morning, when the meat offering was offered, that behold, there came water by the way of Edom, and the country was filled with water. This month, you will see wonders, you will see miracles in your life, in Jesus' name. For the reading, Exodus chapter 33, from verse 13 to 18. Now therefore, I pray thee, if I found grace in thy sight, show me thy way, that I may know that I may, I may find grace in thy sight. And consider that this nation is thy people. Verse 14. And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Verse 17. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight. I pray this month you will find grace in the sight of the Lord in Jesus' name. Uh, Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 down to 9. Uh, and it came to pass, as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of the Lord, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret. Verse 2. And he, and he saw two ships. He saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them, and were washing their net. Verse 3. And he entered into one of the ships, which was seeming, and prayed him that he would trust out a little from the land. And he sat and taught the people out of the ship. Verse 4. And when he left speaking, he said unto Simeon, Launch out into the deep, and let out your nets for a drought. Verse 5. And Simeon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will lay down the net. Verse 6. And when they had done this, he enclosed great multitudes of fishes, and their net break, and they beckon on their partners in verse 7, which were on the other ship, that they should come and help him, help them. And they came and filled both ships, so that they began to sing. Verse 8, when Simon Peter saw it, he fell at Jesus' knee, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. Verse 9, for he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of the fishes, which they have taken. This month, I pray. Jehovah God will show you great grace. Amazing miracles will come in hand in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse nine. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities than the power of Christ may rest upon me. Said and he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. This month you will see the grace of God will be sufficient for you in Jesus' name. Topic for this morning, my showers of great season is here. Topic one more time, my showers of great season is here. Host my humble self, Luca Kefas, yes. taking the book of Second Kings chapter three from verse seventeen to twenty. With further reading, Exodus chapter thirty-three from verse thirteen to eighteen. Uh, Luke chapter five from verse one to nine. Second Corinthians chapter twelve verse nine. Please, at your leisure time, I want to employ you. You can read these Bible passages again, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a man blowing word for this morning is. Unto the grace of God finds a man, his sweat and suffering continues. I take that again. Unto the grace of God finds a man, his sweat and suffering continues. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic. My showers of grace season is here. We shall double as a teaching series for the week. But by introduction, let's understand that many people live under siege and suffering for long, and some forever. I mean people live under abject fear, under abject poverty, conditions and sickness all their lives. God did not create life for suffering, but rather for enjoyment. That dimension of life that makes men enjoy life is simply the life of grace. Look at the man Noah, Abraham, Moses, Joshua, David, Nehemiah, Esther, Christ himself, Peter, and Paul, and many others are great examples of men under showers of grace. This month and beyond, I pray you and your family shall be enlisted in the grace least of men in Jesus. Then you see amazing testimonies that will clearly prove that this is the finger of God in Jesus. In Genesis chapter 6, 
from a six down to 22 you can read the account of of noah god vowed to destroy the whole world but noah found grace and god told him said make an ark of a wood and preserve two by two male and female animals and your family and he did that destruction came upon the entire world but himself and his family saw the grace of god and they were preserved i pray this month you and your family will see the grace of god in jesus name genesis chapter 12 from verse 1 we're talking about abraham the lord told him get out of uh, your kindred and i will show you the place that you will go and abraham departed in verse 4 and lord also went with abraham in the next chapter chapter 3 and abraham went chapter 13 rather genesis 13 and abraham went out of egypt he and his family uh, his wife his lord with him and abraham was very rich in cattle in silver and gold and lord also went with abraham had flocks and herds and tent and of course uh, the headsmen of Lord and Abraham began to strive that both have to depart. They were very, very wealthy, very blessed that they have to depart. Same Genesis chapter 22 from verse 1 down to 18. And it came to pass that the Lord did tempt Abraham and said, Sacrifice your son, your only son. And of course, Abraham took the son in the third day, he rose early in the morning, took the child, took his servant, uh, take wood and all that, and proceeded looking for the mountain. Chapter 4, on the third day, he saw the mountain. And jumped down to chapter 9 and it came to pass when he found the place he built an altar there bound his son Isaac placed him on the altar take up the knife to strike the child in verse 10 and Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son and he said lay not your hand upon the lad in verse 12 he said now I know that thou fearest me verse 15 and the angel of the Lord called out of Abraham out of heaven the second time and said by myself if I saw and said the Lord said in blessing I will bless thee and multiply on the blood that sees as the stars in heaven he said, and that she shall possess the gates of his enemies, verse 18, and that she shall hold the nations of the earth, be blessed. Exodus chapter 33, from verse 13 down to uh, 23, he said, Now therefore I pray thee, if I found grace in thy sight, show me now the way that I may know that I found grace in thy sight. And of course, God said, I will show you my glory as you have demanded. Moses found grace of God. I pray, this point, you also found grace. Of the Lord in Jesus' name. Exodus chapter 12, from verse 28 down to 32. You can read that at leisure time. We saw how the children of Israel went out of the land of Egypt after 430 years of slavery. This morning, the grace of God will take you out of any penury that you are going through in Jesus' name. Ex Esther chapter 2, 17. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor inside more than all the virgins. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. That's what the grace of God will find you. The grace of God will make great destiny out of you in Jesus' name. Second Kings chapter 7. Uh, you can read that in Legend and Second Kings chapter 3, from verse 13 to 14. You shall not see the rain, but the valley shall be filled with water. That's what you will see wonders in Jesus' name. Why my showers of grace season? Why is this season a season of showers of grace? Very simple. Because showers of grace is God's program for us in this hour. Because showers of grace is what? God's program for us in this hour. Which means that God has ordained and set this season for our effortless, amazing accomplishment that will humble the wicked around us. I take that again. Why is this season a season of showers of grace? Very simple. Because God has programmed this season for our word, for our grace. Which means that God has ordained and set this season for our effortless, amazing accomplishment that will humble the wicked around us. In Genesis chapter 39, from verse 1 down to 24, you can read that the account of, of Joseph, uh, down to 41 or so, 1 to 54. You can also read the account of of Israel as well. Second Kings 7, uh, from verse 1 to 20, you can read the account of Elisha, how he gave the word. Second Kings chapter 3, from verse 17 to 20 also. He said, it shall come to pass in the morning when the meat offering was offered, that there came water by the way of Edom. This month you have abundance in Jesus. In Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 down to 9, you can read the account of Peter, how Jesus used his boat afterward. He thrust into the deep and he caught great multitudes of fishes. I pray this month you will see amazing wonders in Jesus' name. And Luke chapter 15 from verse 11 down to 24, talking about 
and the prodigal son, and he said, a certain man had two sons, the younger and the elder, the, end, the younger demanded from his father all that belonged to him, and the father gave him to went and wasted everything on riotous living, and he was in want. And after he was feeding with pigs, he came to him senses to return back to his father, and he returned. And the father killed the fathers of all the cows and made merry for him. I pray the grace of God will take you from the donkey to the top of the top in Jesus' name. One more time, why is this our season of grace showers? It's simply God's program, God's season. God has programmed this season for our what? For showers of grace for us. Which simply means that God has ordained and set this season for our effortless, amazing accomplishment that will humble the wicked around us. You can read Genesis 39, 1 to 20, Genesis 41, 1 to 51, 2 Kings 7, 1 to 20, 2 Kings 3, 17 to 20, Luke 5, 1 to 9, uh, Luke 15, 11 to 24. At a leisure time, you can read all of these Bible passages again, and I'm sure you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Lastly, it is important we know that we all need, it is important we know that all we need in life is the grace of God and nothing more. Get under the showers of grace, everything in life, and destiny will arrange an answer. Success in life, adventure, does not answer to effort or hard work, as many people think. But, but best to the grace of God. You can't be under the showers of grace and not make a mark on the earth. Also, we must understand that grace only works for God's children who truly repent. And as such, I charge you to accept Jesus in truth and spirit, so you can walk under the showers of grace. Grace and I pray you walk under the showers of grace in need in Jesus' name. Carry the account of Noah in John uh, Genesis 6 6 22, uh, the account of David, 4 Samuel chapter 16 from verse 11 down to 13, how he was anointed, uh, 4 Samuel chapter 17 from verse 1 to 54, how he brought down Goliath, and of course, uh, 4 Samuel 13, how God said that he has found a man after his own heart, 2 Samuel chapter 12 uh, from verse 1. Down to 16, and Samuel said to Jesse, Is there all your children? He said, No, I still have one day with bring him. They anointed him. And we saw how the next chapter he brought down Goliath. God oh, will take you to the top of the top in Jesus' name. Matthew chapter 11, from 28 down to 30. He said, Take my yoke, come unto me that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He said, Take my yoke upon you and laden, and learn of me, for I meek and only in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my, for my yoke is easy, and my body. Is like John 15, 1 to 7. I'm the true vine. My father is the husband. Man. Every branch in me that bring it, that bring it, that bear it not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that bear it fruit, he porch, that he may bring forth much fruit. Say so now, yeah, clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. And he said, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except when abide in the vine. No more shall he say be abiding. He said, I am the vine, yeah, the branches he that abided in me, and I in him the same bring it forth much fruit. Or that me ye can do nothing. He said in verse 7, if ye abide in me and my words in you, ye shall ask what I will, what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. That's grace at work. Elisha's three cries of the demons from the cause of the law. Bringing us definitely under grace. On pray with you if you're interested. If you want the grace of God to take effect, to take charge of your life, on pray with you this morning. Place your hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come to you this morning. I know I'm a sinner, forgive me my sins. I know you come to this earth, you die. Right now, I confess it to be my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon all my sins, forgive me my sins, and wash me with your blood. I write my name in the book of life, for in Jesus' name, I receive you. Amen. Father, we take two prayers. Father, Lord, in this season of grace, make me a definition of an increased testimony with amazing testimonies to show in Jesus' name. Genesis 6, verse 8. He said that Noah found grace in the side, in the eyes of the Lord. Exodus 33, 17. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight. Father, in this season of grace, make me a definition of an engraved testimonial with amazing testimonies to show in Jesus' name. Last prayer, Father, teach your children across the globe wisdom on how to grow in grace and never to take your grace for granted in Jesus' name. In Second Samuel chapter 12, from verse 7 down to 9, we saw how. Uh, David took the grace of God for granted and destruction came upon his house. But he cried for mercy and God had mercy upon him. Second Corinthians 6, uh, 1 to 2. We then, as workers together with him, beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. I pray the grace of God will not be in vain in your life in Jesus' name. Father, teach your children across the globe. Wish to how to grow in grace and about to take grace for granted. For in Jesus' name we pray. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercession. God blesses you tomorrow. 
as we continue this teacher series. I pray this.